Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another new bags episode. We're gonna be talking about a couple bags from Louis Vuitton, Boutique of Veneta, Dior, and Lueve. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. <music> The first bag should come at no surprise to any of you guys and it is the Louis Vuitton Go 14 bag. So if you guys don't know this, this is the creative director. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his last name. So his name starts with a G, obviously, and then the O stands for October and then the 14 stands for 2014. That is when he first released this bag. So if you go on the pre-loved website, you can see this bag. I feel like the pre-loved ones, it's not... The major difference that I can see, It's I feel like it's not as puffy so on first glance i don't like this bag personally i like the idea of it i love that it has a top handle i just love puffy bags in general i actually the the lv twist has actually grown on me so i don't mind the hardware on it i don't know for me with these quilts is that i would rather buy a saint laurent bag it's just i don't know i'm not into so you can see how this is actually navy blue and you kind of see the darkened parts right here which i think are black and i don't really like that because for me it kind of looks too aged i'm sure that was intentional they do have this in this tan color and i actually dislike the tan color even more i don't know this is giving me like rotten pineapple vibes or okay maybe not rotten just like a brown pineapple i just i can't unsee it maybe maybe i would like this bag more if it wasn't so dark here again i know it was intentional and if you zoom in on it and then if you do zoom in on it you can see that there's just this strip of leather right over here as opposed to for example like chanel quilting it's just the threading or the stitching where this there's an actual piece of leather i believe all of these go 14 bags are made with lambskin so i feel like that's why it's really expensive i haven't touched it so i don't know how supple or soft this is i do like that it is top handle it doesn't look like the top handle is removable so that's interesting and i actually do like that the flap over here is bigger as opposed to it like cutting off in the middle yeah maybe if i see this in different colors so if this bag gets more popular hopefully they'll have more uniform colors i just i really can't get on with this darker part like tell me this doesn't look like a brown pineapple because you guys know with pineapples it's yellow and then you have the brown edges on the diagonals however what i will give is that the pico size so the smaller one is more palatable i would say because see this i actually think is really cute but i also think it has to do with the fact that this one's black so you can actually see that it's just one color see as one color i really like it but like the blue one or the brown one from before i'm just not a fan of how it gets dark in the crease it's kind of like a water stain you know where it gets darker at the edges as opposed to the center so in just this plain black i think this is really cute like really really cute i want to say it's expensive but again you could just see all of the leather that's going into it the hardware the top handle and this bag looks like it could hold a good amount of stuff i feel like this could fit your phone even though it says pico i mean at least fit my phone maybe it can't fit a max i would love to try this on so i guess maybe next time i go into louis vuitton i'm gonna ask to try this bag on my only gripe is i feel like i've been reading so many articles just online everyone's saying that this go 14 is going to be the new it iconic bag i don't think it's going to do that i'm not saying that it's gonna go away and it's gonna die down but i don't see this being an it bag so they do have this bag available in a bigger size the gm gosh darn it's seven thousand dollars but i mean it's lambskin so we're not even going to talk about it but see i feel like i like the way it looks on the gm because it's all black so i just want them to come out with more colors that are just uniform colors instead of that weird pineapple gradient effect and then i feel like i could get on board with it again price point it's kind of high i think that's all i'm gonna say let me know if you guys this is your new like go-to wish list bag that just moved all the way to the top i would love to know i would definitely love to feel the lambskin on this like that is probably the thing that i'm most interested in and i do like the chain that comes with this i feel like the detail of the crisscross chain is really nice and then you could also see on the inside there is a zipper pocket which is really cool and it's lined with leather completely i mean rightfully so it's over over seven thousand dollars it should be lined with leather again carrying on what i was saying earlier is that it being the next like it bag i just don't see that i feel like the stars that have been seen wearing this bag i think it was kate 
Bosworth or something. I know Emma Stone was given this bag. Of course, she's a brand ambassador for Louis Vuitton. So I feel like it's not really fair to say that something's gonna be the next it bag if the bag was gifted because then that means any brand that gives out bags. Do, does that make sense? I feel like an it bag is something that people just buy out themselves and I don't see people buying this bag. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And then there's one other bag that I actually would like to discuss that I've been seeing all over Reddit. I follow Louis Vuitton on Reddit and so many people have purchased this bag. It is a, the Samore BB bag. Hopefully I said that correctly. You can see that it's like fresh Viqueta as well. I actually really like the details right here, how it has the LV in a circle embossed. I think that's really cute. I love that it comes with a top handle so you can wear it on the crook of your arm. You can also have an adjustable strap so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag. I think it's really, really cute. I really don't have much to say. I feel like this is a better version of the old louis vuitton tambourine bag because i did hear some people have issues with the opening and closure of the tambourine and because this actually has the magnetic right here it's not an actual buckle it's like buckle by design and aesthetic but not actual purpose and i actually like these just little buckle details right here you can see that it's lined with a viqueta i don't know if the inside is Let's see, so the inside is microfiber, it is not suede. I would love to see how much this fits, but, and it, does this have a back pocket? Let's see, two side buckles. Yeah, so there's a back pocket on the back, which I think is A1. Anytime a bag has a back pocket, I'm all about. But going back to what I was saying is, I've been seeing so many people on Reddit love this bag they just bought it and i think price point it's not bad like two thousand dollars in this day and age to get a louis vuitton canvas bag with viqueta adjustable strap top handle as well i think that's just really really nice let me know if any of you guys bought this one because imagine you guys were the people that i read on reddit that'd be really funny okay so that's it with louis vuitton the next one i'm going to just talk about bottega very quickly so bottega has this new bag called hop this is a thing this is a thing if you guys have seen this bag already i'm sorry i'm just late to the party i was on bottega veneta just you know ooing and aahing over the tech set and when i'm gonna buy it and then i saw this hop bag first of all there is a new shade of pale yellow so if you guys have been keeping up with me there was a pale yellow slash pastel yellow called ice cream that came out before and now there is a color called chamomile 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 and i feel like it's a lighter version of the ice cream one it's it's if they added more cream or more white into the already ice cream this is interesting to me because if you guys can see the edge right here the way it's just kind of like a sack i feel like this is like the bottega veneta version of that oh i can't even think of the name right now but that goyard bag the hobo style goyard bag but this is like the bottega veneta version i feel like conceptually this bag is very similar to the OG Bottega Veneta Jody bag like if you try to buy it on pre-loved websites from like 10 plus years ago before it got reinvented I feel like this is the similar aesthetic right now this only comes in a couple colors I feel like that's when you know they're kind of testing the waters out is when they only come out with a couple colors so yeah I'm surprised they don't have this in black I feel like black would be really nice but I do like this in the white and the chamomile color and they do have this available in a smaller size as well so in the smaller size it looks like this basically the same thing i feel like the one photo that they should have is the bags with models so you can kind of see like how it lays or the ratio of it but there's this and this new silver gray color is new it's kind of like a lilac -y color and then the next thing i just wanted to point out really quick is that they have this like corduroy material in some of their bags it's called jacko bean which i think is so cute how do you guys feel about corduroy that's a really hard word for me to say um i would rather have denim personally but i do like that there's leather on the inside which is is really really nice it's essentially suede that's made to look like corduroy so it's not actual corduroy but it looks like it and that's what i'm calling it how do you guys feel about this i have mixed feelings i feel like when i first saw it i liked it and then the more that i look at it i'm not quite sure so they have this obviously available in the paddock cassette as well so you guys can see the leather bit on this side the only issue is i feel like with suede items they tend to stain and stains cannot be removed as easily that's why like when people have stuart weitzman boots they have to be really careful with like water stains and stuff like that because to get a stain especially like a liquid stain out of suede it's very very difficult without ruining the suede this bag is essentially suede on the outside leather on the inside 
And then the last thing from Bodega that I want to talk about is that they have a new denim, except it's a dark denim. And I didn't know how I felt initially because I really truly love their lighter denim pieces. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to insert a picture right here so you can get a little refresh of how beautiful this is, okay? They have this denim duffel bag, which I think is immaculate like immaculately done i just it's essentially a denim people is what it is except you have the weaving of it and i love that they chose silver hardware i think it looks so good like look how cute this is a very if you know you know also i don't even want to say quite luxury it's just no branding obviously it has Bottega Veneta branding but a lot of people don't know what Bottega Veneta is so it's fine but i just really really like this imagine if they came out with a small size version of it that would be such a nice weekender bag the only thing that hurts me is that this is denim and it's fifty six hundred dollars whereas for example a louis vuitton keep all i mean i haven't checked prices recently but i think they're like definitely less than three thousand i think they're like two thousand five hundred or something like that and they're ginormous like a keep all 55 whereas this one let's see so this is a 50 centimeters wide so this is essentially a keep all 50 size so that's pretty massive i would love to feel how soft this is i hope this is successful so then they'll come out with tinier versions like imagine this in like a keep all xs size if they're smart they're gonna release something like that like that's super super cute and it's just like really delicately done but just going on a couple other items so they do have their famous small camera loop bag i do think and notice that with their denim bags at least in the weaving it's actually a little bit more expensive because a regular small camera loop bag let's look it up so a regular small camera loop bag with leather is 2700 and i know so many people rave about this bag okay and the denim one is 300 dollars more expensive which is interesting because in general you would assume that denim would actually be cheaper shouldn't it be 300 dollars cheaper so it would be like 2200 but we shall see and actually wait it is very interesting that the duffel actually has silver hardware and you can actually see on this bag it's actually gold same thing with this cassette pouch you can see that it's a gold zipper i wish they kept the silver theme interesting interesting that the duffel is silver and then this one is gold i wonder if it's because the duffel is part of the men's collection technically and maybe the women's is the gold but i do like this pouch i've been really looking for a pouch leaning towards a celine one i'm just waiting for celine to come out with a cuter one here are some other bags the teen pouch see four thousand dollars that's very very expensive and then they do have this in the tote bag as well which i feel like is really cute just for like running around in errands and because it's denim i feel like it's more hard wearing than canvas and because it's a dark denim so if you hypothetically get it stained on the bottom you can't even see it is there feet on this okay it doesn't show but look i would again love to feel this okay so the next brand the second to last brand that we're going to talk about is going to be dior and first and foremost i'm guys we need a moment of silence of how beautiful this is are you guys ready look at this emerald green color it is stunning it is immaculate it's just so pretty i feel like it's a slightly deeper version than a parakeet green i would love 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 to see this bag in person i think this is stunning absolutely stunning there's like a slight sheen to it as well the moment i saw this green color I wanted to buy an SLG, but unfortunately they don't have anything and you don't believe me. Let me show you. You're going to type in emerald because this is exactly what I did the moment I saw this color and this is all that pops up just their jewelry. It's pretty unfortunate. I do know that they made this green emerald color in the DJOY bag as well, but obviously it's out of stock, but just look how immaculate and stunning this is oh my goodness. If they made this green color in a micro DJOY. I might have lost my mind but i think i wouldn't have gotten it purely because this shade of green is too similar to my candy cassette because it's just it's very similar and especially if i get a micro bag side by side they would essentially serve the same purpose however here's the second alternate and if they did come out with this bag in the micro d joy it would have been game over are you guys ready for this let me know which green you like more okay for my green beans out there this color this pine green it's everything it's 
literally everything to me it is so stunning i love it actually with the green calfskin because i feel like it has that sheen too it's just oh it's immaculate it is the definition of immaculate between the pine green color and the emerald i do like this one more i feel like i can wear this more it's more versatile i feel like i could match this more whereas the other green it's a little too vibrant i guess you would say but i love this so much this pine green color and of course you guys know that they have to make this pine green color in a lady dior <gasps> look how stunning 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 this is like a, i'm meeting my boyfriend's crazy rich asian grandma bag that we're about to encounter like it is so beautiful and i just would love to even have the opportunity to try this bag on and just put it against my body it's so beautiful i don't understand why they don't make this in the micro size because it would sell like hotcakes like hot cakes okay i was so in love with this green color that i was this close to buying this card holder purely because because one obviously the saddle because you guys know me i loved the pine green saddle okay and then this i don't know i don't know how i feel about this because this looks very very slim let me know if any of you guys own this but i actually do like this back aesthetic it's very similar to the puzzle card holder that's just super super popular where you have one zip at the top and then you have cards right here i feel like a lot of brands do this kind of simple card holder like celine does this uh saint laurent does this um or but this has the back and the front i guess i would love to see this in person but um, see 540 i say not bad like chanel card holders are on like 500 to 600 dollars and this one you get like the saddlebag aesthetic so i really debated on this i just i really want to see this in person is my number one gripe but a part of me wants to buy this what do you guys like okay i know i said no shopping but you guys know me with my colors I'm obsessed and I need to have a piece of everything. If you guys have to choose between this gorgeous pine green saddle card holder versus the placid like accordion style five card gusset from Dior but in the patent, which one would you guys pick? very difficult because i feel like approximately they're on the same size you know just for sakes of like i love this i love and adore this and because it's patent is another reason why i would love it because patent i feel like is a little bit more hard wearing whereas if this was just pure lambskin i wouldn't i wouldn't get this as a card holder not because i don't like the color as much but your cards are dirty your hands are dirty it's gonna show wear and tear very quickly oh the dream is this five gusset card holder in patent in the pine green Mm, i wouldn't even need to ask you guys a question i would have already purchased it and it'd be like i have the tracking number it's on the way okay oh my gosh i almost forgot to talk about this bag so there is a new boston bag at dior i feel like this is a bag that hmm like it's kind of gonna fade into the background eventually so this is a new boston bag which i do like i like the aesthetics of it even like the small little details of the cd at the top i think it's really cute i think it's really subtle i like the size price point it's expensive but it's dior so you just kind of you know have to run with the bulls however the reason why i wouldn't want this is because it's too similar for me to uh the row bag because the row makes a mini version of their margo bag i believe that's what it's called i actually first discovered this bag when i saw a japanese influencer um or model sorry not influencer a japanese model do it on a what's in my bag for like vogue japan or something like that and i thought it was so freaking cute their normal sizes are the most popular ones are definitely the bigger ones but they do have a 7.5 and i think this is so cute it's very similar like very sleek simple aesthetic just like the dior one obviously the dior one has a little bit more hardware like the strap is removable and adjustable as well and obviously the cd this looks like a box calf skin oh yeah it is a box calf skin because you can see how shiny it is i would love to see this in person but if i never do it's fine it just it's very simple i would rather have them bring back their old vintage boston bags like the maroon one and the navy blue and they even have that like olive one or even the pink and white like that would be a dream for them to bring back because if i were to get another vintage bag i would love to get a dior boston vintage one i mean it's like a new version because you know box calf skin but i would rather have their old boston bag personally 
So the last brand that I'm going to discuss is Lueve. Of course, they have a new fall collection, fall winter 23. So let's look at the bags. I'm not going to talk about everything. I'm just going to talk about the ones that really caught my eye. So the first bag we're going to talk about is their new medium squeeze bag or the squeeze bag. This one is interesting. So let me just talk about their donut chain really quickly. When I first ever saw this donut chain, I actually wasn't a fan of it. I thought it looked, I'm going to be honest, I thought it looked cheap. I thought it looked weird. And then, and then my essay did what he needed to do. He put the donut chain on the flamenco bag and it just forever changed it i definitely want to get a donut chain now that's on my to buy list from lueve i feel like it just adds a different aesthetic it kind of elevates the bag from being casual because the moment you add this donut chain i'm like i can take this to dinner super easy it's like it went up really quick it's like putting on a pair of heels you know it changes the entire vibe of the outfit and i actually love that this has the little anagram logo right here i definitely would love to try this bag on just because i mean conceptually it's giving honestly like a hobo bag aesthetic except with this chain i don't know the handle i just feel like it's very different and it's very weird this is made with their napa leather so i'm sure it's really really soft and i love this olive color like love 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 i actually think i like this olive color more than their khaki green color like this is very very nice it's literally as if i'm looking at a jar of olives that's what it looks like see this i think is so cute i mean i could understand this handle being in terms of to make it more comfortable but i feel like it kind of looks weird kind of like a little armrest on a couch is what it's giving me but i love that you can actually crossbody this this is very nice to know it's very similar to the large cost bags where you wear it crossbody so it like hangs like this i would yes definitely like to know what this looks like on my body type so this is the back so technically i guess this bag isn't reversible because there is a front a clear front and a back me personally i'm not a huge fan of it saying Lueve right here. I wish they would put like the anagram logo somewhere like embossed or something But I do like that it's gold stamped and then it has the gold hardware. I think that's cute They do have this in a couple different colors. Let's look at burgundy really quick because you guys know me and I love burgundy um, Yeah, this one's really pretty too. I mean out of the four colors I would go with the olive or the black but if I really had to pick I'd go with the olive Let me know if any of you guys have tried this on this see it just looks so weird like I'm sure it's comfortable, but this looks really, really funny. It looks really funny. So that's interesting. Next, just really quick. So you guys know that the puzzle is now the edge puzzle. You guys can immediately tell the difference right here. So the new, I guess, fall theme is like the two-tone. So you guys can see. I mean, out of all the two tones, I definitely do like the olive one more. I feel like the contrast is a little too much for my liking, but it is nice. I mean, this one has chocolate and then the cranberry color, but still, it's just not for me. I don't hate the edge. I just like the original puzzle bag so much more. Like so, so much more. Just because I love the wave as a brand, I would eventually love to own the edge puzzle just to kind of have it, you know, because I'm a true Lueve fan. But at the moment, I just really love the regular puzzle. So how do you guys feel about this two-tonedness? Yeah, I feel like the khaki green one is the only one that's really wearable. And then this one I really just don't like yeah if you purchased it i'm sorry i don't like it maybe i would like this more if it was this warm desert and then it had the chocolate color like a dark dark brown but against the black it's not my personal vibe not my vibe okay next let's just talk about the color so there's this new seaside blue color and i actually really really like it it's super fun and bright i honestly don't see this being like a fall and winter color but it's it's here and i love it if you guys have never touched the small paseo bag or just the paseo bag in general so when i first saw this online it, it literally looks like a gyoza dumpling like the fried one okay but it's like if a gyoza dumpling fused with the flamenco that's what it looks like but this bag is actually so incredibly soft it's insane even if you don't like what it looks like i want you to go into the and touch this bag and you're gonna be like oh wow and it's really comfortable and light like these straps right here are weirdly very comfortable but just for the sake of visuals these are all the items that come in the seaside blue color like look how pretty it is it's like a deeper like a deeper deeper cerulean blue color yeah, I really like this color. It's super pretty. You can see this one. It has it like in the monochromatic and in a card holder. I definitely think my favorite pieces in this blue color is the mini hammock. Look how cute this is. It's giving bright Prada re-edition vibes. I really like it actually. I did actually have the chance to try this bag on. Um, see, even with the silver hardware, like that's so good. It's so good. I really like this color. 
Also, of course, the flamenco looks good in every single color, but in this color especially as well, I feel like this is a really nice color for traveling like if you're going to greece or something i think this color would be really nice and then this one has to be my favorite in the seaside blue i just really really like it especially with the silver and it's mini and i really like it my only gripe is i wish instead of a physical metal buckle i wish it was kind of like the louis vuitton original bum bag where it's just an actual belt loop into it as opposed to an actual physical buckle where you can see this right here but other than that i really really like this so it's really cute and then the last bag that i want us to discuss is the cropped puzzle fold bag so i have thoughts i do have thoughts see seeing the model wear it i think she looks amazing with it especially this like oversized sweater and then you see this bag especially because the straps are thin if the straps were thicker i don't think i'd like it as much but it's essentially like their new puzzle fold bag but cut in a third it's not even a half it's in a third and i really actually do love this entire outfit is so nice they have it in three different colors and i know that this dark khaki green color was the most popular out of the new foldable toe like so many people i read were like i got it in the khaki green i got it in the khaki green i was like Girl, yes great decisions so i would love to try this on and touch it essentially inside it looks like they're suede yeah so the inside is suede lining so that's kind of dangerous you know what i mean i don't know this just seems really nice this seems like a good errand bag like to throw your keys a small water bottle can fit in this like a little travel size fiji or something like that have you guys tried this bag on would you guys rather get the full size or this little one actually let's compare price really quick so the cropped one is one thousand and seven hundred dollars okay and then the full size is only $290 more expensive. Mm. Mm. I mean, it's less leather. Why is this one essentially only $300 cheaper? I feel like it should be like $500 cheaper because we're missing like the entire bottom bit. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah, see, I love this dark green color. I really do. But I do think if I had to pick this green color or the olive color, I would go with olive. But a lot of you guys have told me you purchased this and you guys really like it, so that's awesome. And then the last bag that I wanted to discuss was this bag. Just really quickly, what do you guys think of this bag? Genuinely, what do you guys think? I feel like this bag is very artistic. I personally wouldn't pay, even if this bag was $2,000, I still wouldn't pay for it. This bag is for people that... I collect bags, but in a different way, I guess. Like, if you are a diehard, you want every single piece of Lueve, I think this is... The way to go like Lueva is known for their leather and this is like a really just like intricate way of doing things but for me and other reddit commentators that i've read about this bag they don't like it a lot of people compared it to a bird's nest which makes sense it's called the nest bag uh they do have this obviously available in other colors like the darker browns definitely look even more like a nest uh, i wonder how tight and flexible this is i would actually love to touch this this seems very interesting. And another thing for me that I don't like is the opening is very small. So that's my only grab. I mean, it's nice that it comes with a strap, I guess. But yeah. If any of you guys own this, this is the bag that I want to know if you guys own. And are you proud to own it? <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's new bag episode. I think my two major questions for you guys is how do you guys feel about the Go 14? Truly, truly, because it's not my cup of tea. I'm not hating on anyone that gets it because I do like it in black. I think solid colors, they did it really well. It's just that weird pineapple gradient on the edges that I'm just not a fan about. Like that brown really just, ooh, it's not. It ain't it for me. Second and most importantly what do you guys like more the pine green color from dior or the blue placid let me know let me know as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps for my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys